Hi guys, um, so I had a request for this one. Um, this is a little video, it's gonna be super short, it's on the gray rock method. What is the gray rock method? Well, basically what it is, is it's a way to get a narcissist, a psychopath, a stalker, a sociopath to lose interest in you by becoming like a rock, like a really boring gray rock, right? So you become um, totally boring. Uh, in the any sort of communication with them that you have um, is completely devoid of any sort of emotional content. The way you communicate with them is very um, not emotional. It's just the facts, and you do not bring up, you know anything from the past, you do not bring up any negative emotions or positive, you just keep it very, very um, sort of boring and almost business-like, right? So the gray rock method is very helpful if you have to be in um, some sort of contact with the narcissist or the sociopath because perhaps you are co-parenting with them, right? And you have to make um, sort of arrangements with them Another uh, thing that's suggested when you are co-parenting with them is to install an app on your phone so that um, there's sort of an arm's length communication. So the app, there's a really, I forget the names of the apps, you'll have to check it out and Google it, but basically there's an app that you can install on your phone so you arrange the pickup and the drop, drop off in a sort of arm's length fashion so you're not actually needing to communicate. But yeah, the gray rock method is you become non-responsive or very, very short answers that are only, uh, that are, it's only communication that has no emotional content and you become boring. Try to be as boring as a boring gray rock and eventually that, um, you know, that abuser or narcissist, psychopath, whatever, they're going to lose interest in you because Remember, they can't stand to be bored, right? That's their Achilles, is to be bored, and you just need to be the most boring person that they've ever encountered. And remember, a narcissist, uh, sociopaths, what they're doing is, especially a narcissist, they are feeding on your emotions, right? So you know, that makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel important. It makes them feel like alive, right? So uh, they're not like the rest of us who get to who feel wonderful when we're loved and when there's reciprocity. They're all driven by control, power, and feeling important. And that's probably because internally, I think they're like small children that don't really feel important at all. You know, they probably were made, I don't know, if they were made to feel unimportant or that they don't matter or whatever, but I think they have this internally, that's how they actually feel, is that they don't matter and they're not important. So they have to sort of extract that from other people, the sense of you know importance and control and power. And like if you're providing them with some sort of emotional you know interchange or content, then it makes them feel you know, powerful. Now, they usually prefer positive source of supply, right? They want to be worshipped and given adulation and have somebody who does not know that they're wearing a mask, somebody who has not seen the mask slip, um, worship them and put them on a pedestal. Like, that's what they prefer. But they will definitely take second grade supply in the form of negative. So if you're full of um, anger or hatred or upset with them because, you know, usually because they've done something really bad to hurt you. And that's totally normal. Like if you're, um, if you were in a relationship with a narcissist and you're getting out of it, you're going to be upset, especially if it was like a covert or sociopath, you had no idea. And then out of the blue, you know, after you've been with them for 10 or 15 years, you find out they had a double life and yada, yada, yada. It's normal for you to be upset and angry and sad and hurt and all these things, right? That's totally normal. However, what you're doing when you're sort of displaying that anger or directing it at the narcissist is you are feeding their ego. And remember, they have an incredibly fragile ego. It's, it's like a little tiny egg that, you know, this, this weak little egg that can be broken at any time. So, you know, you're feeding it and you don't wanna be food for them. You don't wanna be feeding that. And especially if you're trying to co-parent with them, it's just best to keep everything very neutral. 
So the gray rock, and I know it's difficult because you know, you're, you're gonna wanna get some of those emotions out and you should, but you should get them out with um, a therapist or a somatic body worker or you know, your, your therapeutic group or the other, um, other people that you find in the community of say narcissistic abuse survivors or people who've been in relationships with sociopaths, like get that out. Um, outside of you know away from the the narcissist or the sociopath because really <laughs> all you're doing is feeding them and making them feel powerful and important and who who wants to do that plus your life will be much better if you just go gray rock become boring 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 and narcissists are very known for uh, stalking their, their exes, like they will stalk people like years and years and years in the future, right? And you know, narcissists are the ones that are like, oh, they, you haven't heard from them in five years. And then they're like, what's up? I was thinking of you like so, uh, like nothing happened, right? That's what they're, they're known for doing. Um, so they're stalkers. So that's another way to sort of like, you can gray rock um, by you know, getting off of social media. And I, and I don't want you to have to change your life for the narcissist because that's also not fair. So you have to find the balance for you. But um, you know, you can just be, just be boring, like turn into a gray rock. Um, and again, no emotional content, keep it all very business-like, um, as few words as possible when communicating with them remove all emotional content and stop going to them for any sort of closure, explanation, reasonable communication or empathy. They don't have any of that. They're not capable. They can't provide it. Um, you know, they, they, I don't think they, they would if they could, but they actually are just not even capable. Um, so I hope this helps. I will try to do some more videos on gray rock. I'm going to do a little bit more research and sort of, um, you know, convey that information that I find. But um, this is just a brief little video on how to go gray rock. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.